Well, this is a story all about how my water supply got turned upside down. I'd like to take a minute, sit right there, I'll tell you how I came to the fresh water system of Bel Air. In West Philadelphia, born and raised, drinking water was how I spent most of my days, sipping that water from a flask and relaxing, when a couple of guys who were up to no good started drinking water in my neighborhood. I drank one little glass and my mom got scared. She said, you're moving with your auntie and uncle to Bel Air. I drove up to the house about seven or eight. I said to the cabbie, go home, drink water later. Went up to the door, I was finally there, here at the fresh water system of Bel Air. Yo, Carlton, man, you gotta check this out. This water, it just goes down the drain. <laughs> man, this is crazy. Let's see if I can catch it. Whoa, that works! Oh, that's great. We didn't have this in Philly. Will, what's that sound I hear? You better not be wasting water. Yes, you are wasting water again. That's the third time this week, Will. Now, you might think water's so common because we've got this big ocean around us by Bel Air, but it's not true. Of all the water in the world, only 3% of it is fresh water. You think that's still a lot, Will, huh? Well, you know what? We can't get to most of it. Because of that, 77% is ice. You think you could just drink ice, Will? You think you could just take a bath, Will, do you? You want to take a bath in this, Will? Well, you can't. Try taking a bath in there and see how you make out. You know what? Where the rest of the water is, Will, 22% of it is in groundwater. Good luck drinking from the ground. You need a really long straw for that. So of all that, when all is said and done, 1% of the fresh water is in rivers, lakes, and streams. That's only 0.03% of our total water supply. And here you are, just dumping it down the drain like it's garbage. And don't even try to drink that salt water, because while salt is essential to human life, regulating our blood pressure and neurological function, too much of it will increase your blood pressure to dangerously high levels, just like you're doing to me right now. Yo, but Uncle Phil, I like having salt in my popcorn. That's always great. See? Oh, man. Man, I can just eat this salt all day. Ooh, yeah, there we go. Isn't it great, Uncle Phil? Mmm. That was a good year. It was a good year, Uncle Phil. Will, you think that salt is so tasty? How would you like to have it in your water every day? Let's give it a try. I'll fix you a nice glass. Mmm. Just like popcorn, right, Will? Pass that salt over here. Come on, hurry up. Okay, ready, made to order. Yeah, how about that? Mmm, ocean fresh. You want a nice big swig wheel? Huh, do you? No, I didn't think so. You know, that salt water in the ocean, it's 3.5% salt. And you might be wondering, Will, what elements are in there. Well, it's sodium and chlorine, known as sodium chloride. But as bad as that is for you, most people get sick from drinking water that's been contaminated by human or animal waste. So you think it's fun? You think it's a funny idea to take a poo-poo in the lake? No, Will, it's not. You're leading to the deaths of millions, Will, and you need to stop it. Stop it, Will. Yo, human and animal waste, like all that time Carlton wastes, I'm trying to get girls to like him. Oh, hey, Dad. Got home. I got the top mark in the class on this math test. It was amazing. You know, Betty, she tried hard, but she just couldn't get that last question. Oh, hey, Will. And, oh, man, I just felt so great all day, Dad. It was fantastic. Oh, look. Oh, Mom is so sweet. Even when she's away today, uh, she still put a nice drink out for me when I got home. You gotta love mom. The water seems unusually turbid today, doesn't it? Uh, turbidity is cloudiness, Will. I bet you didn't know that.
Ah, oh, Carlton, you'll be fine. Just like I know you're going to be a fine lawyer someday. Ah, uh, that's my boy. But, Will, safe drinking water isn't the only thing you should be grateful for. You should also be grateful that you're able to lather up your soap and enjoy your showers in the morning. Because we have soft water. If you have hard water, the high amounts of calcium and magnesium make it very hard to lather, and they leave mineral deposits. Soft water, on the other hand, has got more salt in it. Yeah, Uncle Phil, that's real interesting and all, but I just gotta make a call first. Just give me a second. Yes, hello, Boredom Hotline. I'm here to report a very boring Uncle Phil here. He keeps talking about salt water, and I think if he keeps on talking, I'm gonna shrivel up and die. So please, send help. <laughs> oh, really, Will? You find the matter of life and death of safe and unsafe water boring? Well, I'm sorry, Will, but it's not. In fact, it's deadly. And you should be grateful that there are people who don't find it boring, who perform these tests to make sure our water is safe, to make sure it has got the right color, to see if the taste is off, such as Carlton just did. If you have perhaps high sulfur content in your water, it will taste and smell terrible like rotten eggs. We also test is the water acidic, and acid rain was destroying trees in North America for years before the government enacted stronger legislation. They also check for dissolved oxygen will to see if the fish will survive. If the oxygen level in the water is too low, Will, the fish will die, and they'll end up like this. You don't want to end up like this, do you, Will? And that's why I'm telling you this now. And you should be grateful, Will, that not only do we have people who test the water, but we have people and processes that make sure the water is clean and safe to drink. I bet you don't even know about any of those, Will, do you? I think I heard something about cleaning up water, Uncle Phil. We took a vacation to the distillation plant back in school. I call it vacation because I don't do any work. And what they did is they took this dirty water in this pot and then they boiled it. And they caught all that steam, all that water vapor. They caught it in a kind of lid and they got clean water from it and left all the nasty stuff behind here. But the one thing I don't get, Uncle Phil, is how could they boil enough water for an entire city? It doesn't make sense. You'd have to boil the whole ocean. Well, Will, I must say I'm impressed. I had no idea you knew about distillation. Yes, it's a very common way to desalinize or get the salt out of water. And just for that, I'm going to show you another way. It's called reverse osmosis. Now, you may remember that osmosis is the diffusion of particles through water. Reverse osmosis is when you undiffuse them. So, let's take a look here. I have a colander I've saved for this occasion. And oh look, there's another glass of salt water. How convenient. So, we're going to pour this through the holes of the, of the colander, and we'll see if we can catch any of the salt. Now, of course, your actual holes in reverse osmosis would be much larger than this, but here goes nothing. And we he's got a lot of salt left behind in the glass. And oh, it must be awfully tough to see, Will. But take a look here. Take a look here, Will. That there is a little bit of salt, a little bit of grimy salt right at the bottom. But you were right when you said that's very expensive. And if you have millions of people, it's very difficult to use desalinization methods such as distillation or reverse osmosis to get enough water for the whole population. It's why it's usually done just in places where they don't have a fresh water source readily available. Uh, Israel comes to mind because they've got the Mediterranean Sea and the Dead Sea. Not a whole lot of fresh water, though. And uh, when we have fresh water, now there are other dangerous bacteria and other things in that fresh water that we don't want to drink. And so often we'll use chemical treatments. And so chlorine is one of the chemicals that's often put in to kill the bacteria. And uh, if you've ever been to a swimming pool, you know you don't want to drink that chlorinated water. The amount of chlorine is much less in drinking water, but that's typically how we treat water. Now, Will, um, I want to say, I, 
I was wrong about you. Maybe, maybe your mother was right, sending you here from the mean streets of Philadelphia, where those men were drinking water. You've made me proud, boy. You've made me proud. Well, gee, Uncle Phil, now that we've talked about it, I feel real bad about wasting that water earlier. I just wish there was some way I could make up for it. You know, get the water back. Hmm. Hey, you know what? It's not gone forever. The water's just down in the sink. All I've got to do is take the sink apart and get the water back. Cover me, Uncle Phil. I'm going under. Yeah, this is easy. I don't know why you gotta get a degree or a certificate for this. Hmm. Uh-oh. That don't sound good. Well...